<sighs> the final installment. Today is, today, is, today is the 20th. Yesterday I went to the palace, so that was the 19th. shoes and um, we're gonna try to do this uh, fond exercise where we go and re we return the bottles and we get money back for it. Yeah. So far, so, so far from what I've researched um, certain bottles can be hit or miss, but luckily the machines will just scan it and tell you and reject it for you. So, it's just going to be an experimentation. So I am now copper free. free. Yeah. The calculations have were successful. It helps, as, as annoying as it was in America, to count out pennies and dimes and all that stuff. It's really helpful here when you actually put down the coins, you know, here's the, here's the two dollars, here's the set of tens. Yeah, so she quickly just like kind of glanced over it once and then took it all and it was just satisfying to not. Now all I have are whole numbers. So that means, unfortunately though, what I found out is that in supermarkets, everything has a nine as long, uh, for foods anyway. So that makes it annoying because whenever I want to buy a food now, that means that I gotta, I gotta try to buy other stuff so that it evens out. <sighs> Calculations suck. I think living here, I'd go crazy. But also if I were living here, I wouldn't be as annoyed with the smaller change because I could use it every single day. Whereas right now, I'm traveling, so when I go back, I have no use for those like little small coinage. So that's why I'm trying to be very careful to get rid of it and stay rid of it. Yay! Small lunch. And now, a quick gaming segment. There's one thing, there's one thing, all of the gym clusters in the world are pretty much useless. If there's no one around playing the game, it's a train station too, there's a bunch of people just coming in and out. Oh well, not that, not that interesting anyway, or not that important. So there's a, there's a mysterious, unseen raiding party somewhere around here, but it's hard to miss like 10 people, so I don't know where they are. Ones are right there on the steps almost, and then one like right on the side. I don't know how close I'll get to them. Maybe I can drift closer. This is as close as I, as I can get, and uh, no one's in there, so moving on. Got a little more than half an hour left. We're there to I'm not about to spend money and wait in the line. Actually, does it cost money? I'm gonna have to research that. Like fishing, fishing. You just gotta wait for people to accumulate and then jump in. Monument type, type thing with the hands and tank over there. That seems to be about it for today as far as Pokemon Go goes. Go goes? As far as Pokemon Go is concerned. I need to get food.
Holy crap. That was a really good burger. Burger zone. I like it. Now I have to try to get home on the train before the like 6% battery dies. So, there it is. My first experience of Germany. There we go. All packed up and wrapped up. And I think that's everything. Um, check the floors underneath the bed. There's nothing lying under there. So, I'll check the bathroom one more time. Alright, new shoes. Take me far. Thank you, Lucas, for letting me stay. Cool. Sorry if I was kind of an annoyance to your roommate. The last time I'll have to descend these stairs. Starting off this section of the trip good. Got here early. 8.44, it leaves at 9.15. Bus. Check. Expecting like a little, like a normal bus like I took to get here. Two stories. So that's why the ticket was 19 instead of 14. Wow. Jesus, it's freaking dark. I've made it to the airport. There's the uh parking structure we saw in miniature earlier. <sighs> yeah, I feel like Beetlejuice like dropped into the little diorama thing. Because that miniature world was a little, a little too detailed. Um, except for right now, because before in the miniature, all of this was like full of stuff. Things going on and making the diorama seem interesting. Now, it's just void. It's 3.17, and they finally allowed people up into the departure area. This is exactly, where is it? This is exactly the issue that I have. So 610 should be my flight, but the number's different than what's on my 
thing. It said DL. Terminal at 3.30 a.m. It's fun. The waiting game is very fun. That's about it. Uh, I had a slight issue going through the metal detector, but um, nothing a quick pat down can fix. Now I'm here. And I got the area all to myself. Until 6.10, probably until around 5.12. It is a ghost town in here. I'm stowing the camera because it's a bit big and I don't know what they define really as like your carry-on accessory, not the bag, but the accessory. So I don't want that to count and then not be able to bring the skateboard on. Because generally just to make it easier to like stow it in the overhead compartment or even in the underneath, I detach the two, the skateboard from the bag so they are two separate entities. So I don't know how that counts. If the if I have a camera, the skateboard, and my bag. Now, I gotta try to get on one of those guys. But I gotta take it to a very specific place. This one right here. That's where I need to go. The fairies are actually pretty, pretty cool here. They got a little timer that shows when it'll arrive as well as when it departs and it's completely free for everybody bicycles pedestrians people with mopeds i like it I am interested to see where she wants to go and eat. On this episode of Eavesdropping, um, apparently Sexyland is, I mean just from reading it, it's a bar, or it has bar functions, but apparently what it is is it's actually not that sexy. Um, it functions mostly as like a hosting venue, so 365 days of the year, uh, you can go onto their website and just kind of host the bar. So they'll have different themes depending on who's hosting at the time. Um, so like I said, or like I heard, apparently people have done like um, art exhibits where it's like um, love letters or people want to do Minecraft things or anything really. So it's always different like throughout the year interesting what you listen interesting what you learn when you just sit in one spot for like two hours okay okay, okay. oh it's really dark why is it oh. like a video thing or is yeah, it oh goody it's moving yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i found sandra it's really dark in here yes it's really yeah. dark in here but that's because we should do it there and then this is true. Well, I just explained to you. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Alright, yay, I found Sandra! Yeah. 
It's an amazing place to eat. Yes. <laughs> Two days are just sleep and then the editing. I found that even though I am able to do the videos on the tablet, it is so much nicer to do it at the command center. So with that, I'm back. Normal daily videos shall resume tomorrow, the 27th, I believe, until the end of this year when the project is over and I can do my final reflection on the whole process. So we will see how that goes. We will see how that 